what did please you about this afternoon? We improved as we went along. That improved me most of all because uh, we looked a lot better in the second half than we did in the first half. Uh, that when we did play to the game plan, uh, we had success with ball in hand. Uh, what did please me? I, I didn't think our kicking game was up to much, and you know our kickoffs were too short, etc. Which, which are little details that you can improve upon. I thought some of the efforts in defence were first class, but then we didn't back it up. Uh, and I thought online it, it just seemed too easy for them to score against us. So obviously there's a fair bit to fix up there. So there are positives, but obviously as well when the, it's, it's a game like that, there's been negatives also. Do you think your team learned a lot from today? Yeah, I do, yeah. I think they learned that the standard they've got to play it, yeah. I think it. Uh, some of the younger lads, it perhaps surprised them. Uh, you know, because you wouldn't have said, I know they had uh, Miski and Josh Manso, but there were certain other players who weren't household names who were still very, very good players. You know, I thought the fullback for Lebanon was outstanding. And uh, I think they've learned that at this level, you've got to be on it for 80 minutes. You can't be on it for a good pit. We had a great start for the first 15 minutes, then we dropped off. We had a great start for the second half, and then Lebanon had the ball for 11 sets out of 13. Well, that killed us. And uh, we've just got to find a way of being tough enough mentally and physically to play through that adversity. Yeah, I guess you'll have. We have much time to work with them on the panic. I mean, how do you go about fixing those things this week? Well, obviously, to, tonight's about recovery first of all, and the coaching team will be clipping the game, and then tomorrow, obviously, uh, there's some media work that we've to do. But we can have a look then back at this. Then they'll get uh, a, a day's downtime before we're back in on, on Tuesday, Wednesday to do some work, which is a fair bit away from the Cook Islands game, so we, we can be physical with them then, before they, again they, they get stood down for uh, for a day or so, before coming in just to do the final preparations. So it's, in theory, you don't actually get too much time to instil them? You do, yeah, because we've got, a, with, the last, with the last game of the first round of group fixtures, so we've got a fair bit of time, I mean, we've got 10 days between now and then, so it's a matter of rest recovery, uh, identifying areas and then uh, making sure we're all our sleeves up and work upon them. Are you okay injury wise after that? Yeah, there's just uh, Gavin Bennion who came off with a head knock early on and uh, he failed his HIA so he won't be available for 11 days as a, a return to play protocol so he'll have to undertake that so uh, you know but apart from that there's obviously dead legs or sore ribs etc but uh, th there's nothing that will keep anybody out from the next game. Sorry, sorry if it's a bit of a repeat after that one there, but